Uh, Mr. Morton, is this a man or is it a machine? Well, he's uh, technically an integrated cyborg. I'd be reluctant to categorize him as either, to tell you the truth. And what about his intelligence? What is his intelligence quotient? <laughs> That's a funny question. I mean, his, his memory is computer-assisted. Now, we don't refer to computers as particularly intelligent. Fast, effective, yes, but intelligent per se, no, I, w I wouldn't think so. Will there be more robots in the future? Oh, yes, well, absolutely. Uh, the program is uh, very cost-effective, and uh, we feel after this initial project, there will be a robo on every corner. <laughs> well, what's he doing when he's not fighting? When he's not fighting, there's a specially designed chair that he sits in when he's at rest. He, uh, plays a mean jazz trumpet, studying kendo, chases female cyborgs, you know, things like that. <laughs> He's quite a guy. Uh, well, what about his personality? Is he a nice guy? Is he on this floor? <laughs> <laughs> no. He's great. He's terrific. Fun at parties. Hell of a guy, really. Wouldn't you say? Yeah. He's a really nice guy. Yeah. Anything else? Okay, no? Let's do it again. Let's okay, again. Crisis is God's way of searching for the truth. And if we seek with him, we can discover our own humanity. Crisis can be a good thing. It brings people together. Detroit got its police force back today. In a surprising turn of events, OCP agreed to key demands made by striking police. In a night of widespread lawlessness, there were also moments of heroism. Justin Ballard Watkins has that story. Officer Ann Lewis, even while on strike, she risked her life to uphold the law. Broken bone, shot three times. What a girl. What a cop. Excuse me, Your Honor. Ann, ever consider another line of work? No, I like being a cop. You know what they say. If you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. I don't know about you, but I'll sleep a little better tonight. You bet. Next time you see a cop, smile. Thanks for watching.